Hello. Hi. I, oh, I was just passing it. Well, I was parked outside and I thought, I know. Why don't we go and see what Alex is up to? We? Yeah, me and the... Me and Peter. I've got Peter for the day. Peter. My godchild. Sophie's daughter. For God's sake, Alex, the niece of my dead fiance. Oh, Pete. Yeah, that's the one. I thought I was going to be able to cope, and I really tried, but I can't. This has been the hardest half hour of my life. Oh, thanks for having us. We won't stay long, honestly. Just say until Peter has to go home tonight. Is that all right? No, sorry. Oh, Alex, please. Come on, I don't do babies. I'm her godmother. I promised the Lord I would make her go to church, not change her dung-filled nappies. No, I'm busy today. Are you? Could be. She's not surgically attached. They don't come out of the womb in a car seat. Come here. Oi. Oh. See? You still got the old magic. Right, I'll just go and get us some cappuccinos. You're not going anywhere, mate. Oh, blimey, she doesn't need changing. I can't. Really. Truly, I, I get a bit nauseous by my own eyes, to be honest. Oh, Alex, please change the nappy. And probably just a few more nappies. I, I don't know how often a baby goes on average, you tell me. But let me and my goddaughter hang out with you today and then when this whole nightmare is over, I'm going to take you out to dinner. Like a date, kind of thing. A date? Yeah, just without any kissing. Just sex then, that's OK. No, no sex either. Bloody hell, what kind of a prostitute are you? Still, as we all know from experience, once Auntie Helen gets drunk, the no sex, no kissing rule goes out the window. <laughs> Next Tuesday, all right? Seriously, I'm only doing this because I know leaving you with her for the day would be equivalent to child abuse. I agree. It's grossly irresponsible of Sophie and Malcolm to leave her with me for the day.